I feel so guilty that I'm not wringing my hands over the, uh, a bridge blown up in Russia, you know, connecting Russia to Crimea and Putin blaming Ukraine and then Putin retaliates by bombing Ukraine. Civilians were again killed. And all I, all I see, all, I, I'm not kidding you, and I, I don't know if I'm alone, maybe I am. All, all, all that happens when I see Russia, Kiev, Ukraine coverage is I don't care. And I feel guilty. I feel terrible. Everybody else seems upset about it. All the smart kids are screaming, we got to be on the side of, of Ukraine, and they're accusing, I don't know, Tucker Carlson of being a Putin puppet. And it, I, I'm, I'm watching our country face the challenges we're facing. Our country is sort of on fire. The New York City mayor is now literally freaking out over a few thousand illegals being bused to New York. State of emergency. I've lived on and off in New York City for 25 years. You know how many millions of people are in that city and how many of them are illegal? I mean, are you kidding me? A few thousand come in on a bus through the Port Authority and they get this, this red carpet treatment. Welcome, welcome migrants. We're a sanctuary. You're getting exactly what you deserve. You asked for it, you got it. You want to be a sanctuary city, be a sanctuary city. Bunch of hypocrite. Martha's Vineyard. Oh, welcome. Now they enriched our community. Now get the heck out. It cracks me up. And this is what voters are seeing. And this is why Republicans are going to win and win big in 29 days. And part of the voting mindset is going to be, let's fix the United States before we worry about what we're going to do with Russia and Ukraine. Are you going to call me a Putin puppet when I say we better worry about what's happening in our country? And when I go really out on a limb and say, let's not have World War III with Russia. Am I a Putin puppet here? I mean, I can I can tell you with with all authenticity and sincerity, I don't I, I, I'm not trying to cozy up to Vladimir Putin. I think that he's a bad guy. He's a tyrant. There's a lot of tyrants in the world. He's got nukes. What are we doing getting involved in this dispute between Russia and Ukraine? I, I, it's troubling, it's awful, but so are things that have happened in Africa over the years or other parts of the world. And I'm not real sure that we should get twisted around the spokes over a conflict between Russia and Ukraine. We've had what was what one media account called seven days of absolute terror in America. We've had violent crime. The, the former governor of New York, David Patterson, said on John Katsimatidi's radio show Sunday and podcast, New York City feels unsafe, he said, for the first time in my life. He said, I never felt as unsafe as I do now just walking around. Two people shot right outside New York Governor Hopeful Representative Lee Zeldin's Long Island home while his twin daughters were inside. I mean, we got stuff happening in this country. John Solomon's Just the News describes it as seven days of mayhem. Random killings are, are exposing the lethality of Democrat crime policies. College dad shot by two homeless men high on drugs. An illegal who stabbed eight people on the Las Vegas Strip. An abused wife slaughtered after her husband was released without cash bail. In a single week, the Democrats' permissive approach to law enforcement left a lethal wake of innocent victims. And I got to worry about Ukraine? 
sorry, no can do. I'm worried about the United States and we better fix it. And we got one way to do it. It's 29 days away from the midterm election and Republicans have to win. Are you bent out of shape over the bridge in Russia being blown up? Are you worried about Armageddon like Biden says we should be? You think we're facing a Cuban missile crisis with, with Russia? How about we get our house in order first?